Okay, so this here is Ranger, the file browser, the file manager. Um, and if any of you guys aren't using this, you should be. And if any of you guys are using this, you should use it even more. Uh, this is one of the single best programs I have, like most useful in terms of like optimizing my workflow. Uh, and I recommend it to anyone, whether you're using a GUI file manager like Thunar or Nemo or whatever, or you know, if you do everything in shell. Um, so there are some videos already on YouTube about like the basics of this, but I wanted to go into how my config works um, for Ranger because it's so incredibly customizable. Um, so if you want to go to your config, once you've installed Ranger in whatever distro you have, uh, the config should be in home slash dot config slash ranger dot uh, slash rc dot conf. Um, and you can open that up. If you don't have that, you just run ranger hyphen hyphen copy hyphen config, and that will copy the defaults to this position. Um, but once you have this, you can go ahead and open it up, and it has a bunch of settings in there by default. Uh, I've sort of cleaned mine up. Uh, so you have settings at the beginning, then you have sort of the key bindings. And the nice thing of this about this program just at the very beginning is you can basically rebind any key really easily. So that's nice. Uh, but I want to show you sort of my optimizations, like how you know, I deal with my workflow, how I organize files. Uh, and I do that by hi having, you know, a whole bunch of different commands for all the folders I regularly use. So here, you know, we got my documents folder, article folder, LaTeX folder, got my classes, got, you know, some general, got my wallpaper, you know, every folder that I'm going to be using even irregularly is in here. And what all this is, is a bunch of mappings that map particular key presses to do different file operations uh, in different folders. And I ha really have four major operations, if you look here. So let's say my documents folder, I abbreviate that as D. Uh, so GD means go to documents. So if I'm in here, I just press GD. Now I'm in documents. Uh, or let's say I press TD. TD is make a tab in documents. So now we have a tab in documents. That's tab number two. You can press tab to go back and forth between them. Um, I also have other things like MD. MD means move uh, any selected file that I have to documents. Uh, so let's say, for example, um, uh, well, I don't know. Uh, we'll move, actually, we'll go to my downloads folder. So I have this uh, picture here. I can just press MD. Now it's in my documents folder, uh, and I can go look at it. Here it is. Um, super easy. Let me move that back to the downloads. Actually, I'll. Uh, so for any of, uh, for all of the major folders I have, I have a go, a, a go command, a tab command, a move command. Oh, and the other one is uh, capital Y. That's yank or copy. That's just make a copy of this file in another folder. Uh, I use that less often, but whatever. Um, so these commands. Um, just make everything so easy. So here, well actually, here is my downloads folder. I have a couple files here. Um, so I can select these two, which seem to be landscape folders. And I can just say move W for uh, wallpapers and then L for landscapes. That's how I have the keyboard shortcut worked out. Uh, so I can really just sort files immediately in my downloads folder. So that makes things easy. Uh, and I can reorganize pretty easily. Um, it just makes my life a whole lot better. Uh, so you can coin all of these uh, different shortcuts ad nauseum, and that's exactly what I've done. Uh, there it might look like a lot here, and it sort of is, but uh, you know that's just because you know if you're using Vim or Emacs, it's a lot easier to modify all of these at once. Um, uh, and specifically, what these do is the go and tab commands use a Ranger uh, specific console command cd and tab new. Uh, and for the move and yank commands, I actually have it call a shell script, which moves um, what this means, the percent percent %s is all selected files. Uh, and then, you know, this is just like shell script here. Um, so that's how that works. That's one thing that, I mean, that is like 90% of the optimization right there. This is like a total lifesaver if you have a really complex folder structure like I do with a whole bunch of, you know, everything. Um, but you can also do a bunch of little things that just help with life. Uh, so I have a bunch of little um, shortcuts tagged to different shell scripts usually. Uh, so for example, I have music tagging. Uh, Taffy is this program I use. It's a command line uh, music tagger. And I have console commands that will allow me to call it, like change artist title or you know album or whatever. Um, I also have things like uh, I, I have a uh, SS is bound to uh, send to my server. 
Uh, so if, let's say I want this file on my server. I just press SS uh, and it runs an rsync command that just asks for my password. I put it in. I'm not going to do it here, but uh, I put it in and it sends it to my web server if I want to use that. Um, again, just at the press of a button. Uh, I run an extract script for extracting files, uh, YouTube DL um, scripts. It's not as important. Uh, one of the big things that I that actually is, I really like is um, I have this um, background sort of wallpaper command. So let's say I'm, uh, let's go to my wallpapers. We'll go to landscapes. Uh, let's say I'm in my landscape folder and there's, uh, let's say I really like this um, background. I can just press BG uh, and that becomes my background uh, really easy. And what this command does is it runs a shell script that first copies the file uh, to, a, you know, config slash wall dot PNG. And that is the place I have I3 always looking for the background file. So if I restart I3, uh, you know, that's going to be the wallpaper. And also I have FAS set it uh, immediately as the background. So th that's how I do that. Uh, so I can pretty much just change, oh, let's say I want this one now. So now it's my background, super easy. Um, I also have like sort of image modification um, commands. So let's say, let me go to my pictures, uh, go to a picture of me. Um, yeah, this one's less symmetrical. Let's say I wanna f uh, flip a picture vertically. Let's say I want myself to be sort of facing the other way. Uh, if I just, I've mapped F to an image magic command, it just converts it and flops it uh, to the other side. Let me show you what that looks like. Um, Ranger doesn't update its preview, but I've already pressed it. Um, and here's what it looks like. Once I, if I restart Ranger, you'll see the preview. I haven't figured out how to get it to update immediately, but it does everything you need just at, um, at a key press. Let me flip that backwards actually. Okay, good. Um, so just little stuff like that. I have, if I want to modify config files, I have them all uh, set on, here's my vimrc. I have them all set to like shortcuts um, in Ranger, just in case. Um, and I, you know, stuff for modifying LaTeX, uh, you know, making LaTeX templates or whatever. Uh, and one of the other things sort of related to that is uh, Ranger is nice because you can set like what kind of files you want it to ignore. So you can set the hidden filter to, uh, you just give it a regular expression, and you can say, let's say I never want to have, I want, I never want to see a log file. Well, you can just put log in here, and you don't, will you won't see log files unless you specifically tell it. If you press, you know, what is it, ZH? Uh, yeah, it shows you hidden files. Um, yeah. So anyway, uh, so that's the main configuration file. Uh, but there are also other things you can do. Um, so for example, in uh, rifle dot config. Uh, or conf, whatever. Uh, this is the file where you put in like what you want Ranger to do when you select something. So like what your default browser, what your default uh, you know image viewer is, all that stuff like this. Um, so you know you can just sort of optimize this how you want. Uh, you can go in here and figure out the syntax. Uh, I've only made a couple modifications here, but it's nice to have um, you know different things. So for example, here's a GIF. Um, and it's not animated in Ranger. I haven't figured out how to get GIFs to animate in Ranger. I don't know if it's possible. Um, but I've just told it whenever you have a GIF and I open it, just, uh, well, actually, let me find where I wrote that. Um, oh yeah, here, oh, it's right there. Um, I just tell it, oh, open it in MPV on loop. So if I open this file, uh, this is an MPV and it's just looping itself. So you have a lot of freedom in what specifically Ranger is doing whenever you're, you know, opening a file or anything like that. Um, so yeah, that's generally what my setup looks like. Uh, again, like the main good of it comes from all these movement commands, which you have no idea how, how much time I save just by doing them. And so this is my sh setup. I might do another video later that gets sort of into the Python code, uh, which you can pretty easily modify, but I haven't necessarily done it that much myself. But uh, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you uh, enjoyed it.